yeah, I feel like the first scene in my slide, you know, it's the f first I throw. Uh -huh. I just hang a little bit, but after that, just in the second inning, I just got there, got my slider there, like throwing the front and everything. I feel really good. You, you also just look like the pitches were pretty sharp. So on the time down, did you just continue to work on your breaking pitches? Yeah, I continue to work my, my slide, my change yeah, too, when I, uh -huh. when I got down, uh, especially with my fastball. I just, the best job we do, like in there, I like, keep going my arm. Um, I just feel really good, man. What about um, when you hurt it? Were you worried that you know you weren't going to be able to get back from it? Yeah, you know the first, the first time. You know when I get to train room that day, I just like, wow, <laughs> I don't expect this, but you know we work. I work hard for, for get healthy, but things happen. I just put them on my mind, like okay, I need to recover quick, like do every exercise that they put me. Um, you know we got good trainers. They help me a lot, man. It's really good. I feel good. You know, a couple I years. feel good we have them over there. What's that? I feel good they ha we have them over there in the <laughs> train run. Yeah, I, I, I think the first time a few years ago we had that heel injury, that kind of hurt the start of your season. Um, yeah. did, what did you learn from that one that made this one easier to come back from? Uh, but different that one, I used to spend like three nights in the hospital, so I, I miss I miss a lot of time on the field. But I, the second day after I got this, I just ran the field training program. That's oh, good. So the, the heel injury, you were in the hospital? Yeah, in the hospital for three days. Oh, because of the infection, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this, is, so this is totally different. Yeah, it's totally different. <laughs> All right, so um, I guess, what's next for you? Uh, I spent throwing five days, like four innings or something, like put my, myself ready for a season. And I feel really good. Um, you know, we, t we, we talked a bit, I think, at the start of spring. How do you feel about how you pitched last year? And, in the confidence that gave you? You know, I feel really good. How I pitched last year, I got more confidence on me. Like, I can pitch on this level and try good games. So, right now, I just put on my mind, like, I need to do the same. Just keep working on it, keep working on my pitches, and do the best I can out there. You know, when, at, at, the, at the end of last season, did you feel like you were throwing as well as anybody on the staff? I mean, your numbers were the best of anybody on the pitching staff, actually. Uh, I just feel like I, I got a good year, you, you know, I, I work for, um, I think we got a good team. We got good pitchers and everything, I think we're there. What is it like kind of coming here knowing that the pitchers have have a lot of responsibility? Because uh, obviously when you lose a knowing, you kind of look to the veterans and the veterans on the pitching staff. Uh, you know, we, we, have, we got a good team, you know, we got a, some good face, good hitters always. Um, we're still there. We got a good team, Joss. We need to pitch in like how we do it. Mm -hmm. um, do the best we can to help the team to win a ball game. Hey, if you can kind of break down the other pitchers on the staff. Um, Sorry. First, you know, Herman, this is a guy who, uh, he's kind of become a leader and a workhorse there. And you've known him for a long time. How has he changed over here? I don't hear anything. Sorry, just the car passed okay. away. I don't hear yeah, anything. No problem. Sorry. Um, with, with Herman. Yeah. How has he changed over the years, and what kind of leader is he for this pitching staff? You know, he, Herman is my friend. You know, he's a really good leader for us. He's been in this league, um, trying to throwing good, big and fightful in here. So I think it's good for us having him in the rotation. Um, he's, you know, he's really good. Yeah. Um, what do you see out of Freeland? I mean, it, it looks like Freeland is a guy with with a lot of spirit and a lot of uh, fight in him. And what does that do for the staff? Uh, you know, Freeland is a com competing guy. Yeah. He always got out and do the best he can. You know, he's like, I, I just pitched with him like 10 years maybe really? through the minor leagues and everything. Um, it's, you know, he's keeping the same guy. Get, get out and do the best he can. Like, I really love, love watching him pitch. Um, you know, we got, a, we got a good friends in here. That's good. What about John Gray? He's a little bit of a different fellow, kind of a quiet guy. Uh, is he the guy that says very much at all? Hey, you know, he's, uh, he's sometimes he's quiet, but with us, with the pitching staff, he's like good guy. He's talked with us a lot. I just asked him some questions too, because he, he, he's a good pitcher, you know? Yeah. Um, I think he's one of the good guys for us. Um, last year when he got hurt, he said that, it, you know, it was, it was kind of hard for him to 
talk to a lot of guys and every did you notice that he was struggling a bit um, last year with his arm and 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 just kind of uh, you know when you when you pitch and your arm is not there so you know like it's it's hard to us because you know the, the arm is all is all we got for pitching and compete out there and um, sometimes we when the arms pain or something we just got a bad days you know yeah i can see where it's a bad day when your arm hurts um, yeah hey what have you seen from austin gomber being new here and uh left-handed has a nice curve i mean how do you feel he fits with this group here i just feel really good having him here having him here um he's a good guy i like talk to him he's he's really good he talked to me a lot on freeland um i think he's really good his staff is good his curveball is nice <laughs> yeah, and I, I think the thing about this team is, especially after Nolan was traded, you have a lot of people that aren't very positive about the team out there. They think, you know, hey, the Rockies are going to struggle. Uh, what what do you say to that? Uh, or is there anything you can say right now until the season? Well, you know, we just got a good team, you know? We got a good team. We got a good defense. We got a good hitters. Um, the pitching staff is there. We got a good pitchers, too. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we need – I just – I think we, we we just got out and put everything we can do for winning the ball game. It's all we can do, you know. Got out and do the best for us. Hey, uh, what have you changed since last year? Any um, any new pitches or or is there anything specific that you're you, you really want to be better? Uh, I just want to really be better with my breaking pitches. You know, working strikeouts, peoples. Um, I re I feel like I, I get in there. Um, you know, it's gonna be. <laughs> You, you've never been a big strikeout guy. Yeah. Do you want to be a bigger strikeout guy? And do, do they feel that you need to be a bigger strikeout guy? You know, I feel like I need to be the the guy get out get out pitch, compete and throw a lot of innings for the team. Uh -huh. I don't be aware about striking out, but you know, Dixon seems to just put my mind to strike out more guys because if I need it in the big situation or something like that, I can have it. You know. I can see that, and, and that's so. It, strikeouts are not something you need to do all the time, but you definitely need them in the big situations, right? Yeah. Yeah. Did you feel you got better at that last year? Yeah, I feel I got better over there in the big situation for the strikeouts. Yeah. Great. Good. All right. I think 